guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Connie. I am Connie's Country Finds on eBay and Country underscore Finds on Poshmark. And I am looking at my orders that I got over the 4th of July weekend, which is only five, but you know what? I'm not going to complain because I thought this would be a perfect video in not too long to show you how I do my packaging. So let's get into what sold and then we'll go pull them. Okay, the first thing I sold was this diaper wipe warmer and safety baby monitor. It comes with both. I lotted them together and I sold them for $15 plus shipping. Next thing I sold was this Torrid floral cami for $19.95 plus shipping. Everything is plus shipping on these orders. The Wee Fit board, brand spanking new, still sealed. Let's take a picture of the seal on there. And that sold for $43.95. Okay. I sold the PlayStation 2 games for $36.97 plus shipping. And I sold this Barbie. And she sold for $9 plus shipping. So let's go pull and I will show you how I package up my stuff. Okay guys, this is my messy storage area, and believe it or not, it is organized. It's just a mess right now because I've been in here trying to take things off shelves and double check them on eBay and just going through everything and repricing and doing all that stuff. I'm uh, pretty much doing inventory, but we're in here to pull these orders. So the first one is going to be this Torrid shirt that I sold. And the way I have my shirts organized is pretty much by color uh, for the most part. So I have a lot of my floral stuff here in this area. So the Torrid should be, yep, right here. So I sold this Torrid top. I'll just hang that right there for now what that looks like and then I sold my Barbie which is in box D and this is box D here and there she is right on top that's the Barbie I sold and sold her for nine dollars I had bought a lot of Barbies and she's almost sold out they're almost all sold out and so the next item I sold was the ace combat zero games and let's see this is where I keep some of this oh they're right here that's what those look like okay so that was pretty easy pull the other two items I had already pulled because they were out in the garage and I don't think you guys want to see that mess right now. So let's go back in and we will get these packaged up. Okay, we're in here and we are going to package up these orders now. I have everything all set up. This is usually how I do it. I'll grab the packaging, no, grab the orders, then grab the packaging that I'll um, is going to go into and it just makes things go much smoother So let's see the first thing we're going to package up will be the Barbie doll So I'll move that over here Okay, since The Barbie doll will not break I'm going to go ahead and put her in a poly mailer, but just to give her some extra protection um, I will go ahead and wrap her in some bubble wrap. So I'm going to do that just to give her some extra protection. I'm 
want to make sure that my customer gets her with no issues. And this protection will help with that. And just take it and I will wrap around this eBay tape. It's stuck on itself all the time. So we're going to use this right now. I'll make sure that she is well protected from the elements and just make sure she doesn't get any kind of damage, any kind of damage. And I just wrap her like that. Now I could put her in a box, but it is going to make it way more. So I'm going to go ahead and put her in a poly bag. I pre-weigh everything before I list it. So the customer knows exactly how much they're going to pay when they get it or when they order. And I always print out a packing slip and say, thank you. That's going on the wrong printer because I forgot. So let's change this to Dymo. And the settings. There we go. Well, you know what, that already printed on there, so let's just go ahead and use it so we're not wasting the paper. I usually print it with my Dymo, but I was printing out some other things with my regular computer yesterday, so I forgot to switch it back, but we're good. And then I just write thank you on it. So they have something a little special. Um, I used to use thank you notes and all that kind of stuff. They just get thrown away and that's just more money that's out the door. So we're just gonna go ahead and attach it to the Barbie. Like so. I may do a lot of extra steps that other people don't, but you know, if I have orders going out, I take a little bit more care. <clears throat> and I use one of my thank you stickers. So that will go in one of the eBay poly mailers. I used one of my coupons when they had them. So I ended up ordering some boxes and I ended up ordering like the variety where it comes with boxes and tape and poly mailers. That was, that's a really nice nice set right there so I try to get that every time I can when I get the free coupon from eBay so the next thing I will do is she's all in there and I will weigh her and she is six ounces and it is going to cost three dollars and 81 cents to ship her My computer is running a little bit slow because we have a storm coming in, which we need the rain so badly. I live in corn country and blueberry country and nothing is growing because it is so dry. And even though it's 4th of July and there are fireworks planned tonight, we still need this rain more than we need the fireworks. So, okay, and this is my label and I just slap it right on there. Is it dry anywhere where you guys are? Have you had plenty of rain? And that's that going out. So we'll do the next order. And 
Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. It's the diaper warmer and baby monitor set, which I've already pre-packaged this. I do want to print out a thank you packing slip for her or him, whomever. And let me grab this. And I just put it in this, packed it, went ahead and pre-packed it in this box, so it would already have a weight on it. And this is a 15 by 10 by 6, but I am going to open it up so I can put the packing slip in there. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder. Music to our ears, because that means there was rain. And I'll show you how I pack that. This is how, woo! Wow, that's some thunder. Pack this. And this is the baby monitors I just put into an extra box. If you guys could see this. That's baby monitors and this is the diaper warmer. And I protected it. And then I put these pillows on top with a little thank you sticker. And then she will also get her packing slip. Now, if they don't want a packing slip, then no problem. I won't, I won't put it in there. But I just always put thank you, Connie, and a smiley face. And it just lets them know that if you have any questions or concerns to please contact me first before contacting eBay and we will work something out but I tested the baby monitors and they work just fine so I shouldn't have a problem with those the diaper warmer I did not completely test but I did plug it in and the light comes on so I'm sure that's going to work as well. And I make sure that I tape this box up really good because we don't want any rain or anything getting into this and ruining anything. So I make sure that I tape it up really good. But things like this I like to prepackage when I uh, list it. That way I know I have the right box when the time comes to sell it. So I had that it weighs four pounds. Let's make sure that I'm correct on that. And it come out 3.14. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So you just always round up to the next number, which would be four pounds. Go ahead, and I have the dimensions already in there for the box, and it's going USPS Priority Mail, and it will be $8.58 for the label. So we'll print that out. It should only take two days to get there. This is going to Ohio. So just a state over from me. Which is probably why it was not expensive to really ship. Okay, so that one's done. Okay, the next thing we are going to work on will be this torrid shirt. And I've already delisted it off of Posh to make sure that I did not forget. Always remember, if you are cross-posting and you sell on one platform, make sure you delist it off the other so you don't sell it twice. 
So I'm printing out the packing slip. And what I do, I do not, as you guys seen, my clothing is hung. So I do not prepackage with into the uh, sandwich bags, but I do use them. So I prefer to do it this way, hanging so they do not get all wrinkled, which they will get wrinkled, you know, sitting in on their way to their owner, new owner, but if I can avoid wrinkling it on my end, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But as my store grows, I may have to move over to the box storage system because I have limited space. So, but right now it works. So I just fold it up really nicely. And if it does happen to have wrinkles, I will steam them out and let it dry before I package it, of course, because we don't want anything happening to it on its way to its new customer. And I just add a thank you sticker on there. I feel like my power is gonna go out. My lights keep blinking. It's not quite storming yet. It's getting close. So I'm trying to get all these ordered or packaged up before a storm rolls in. Oh, there's a thunder. It's rolling in. And then I will add this onto there. Just like that. This one is going to California. And I put it into its packaging. To its poly mailer. Close it up. Weigh it, of course. Alright. This weighs seven ounces. And it will go for three dollars and ninety-nine cents shipping. I will get all these um out to the mail tomorrow and whatever I can't fit in my mailbox my husband will take up for me because I am taking my best friend to her chemo and radiation appointment tomorrow so fortunately um, I live in the country so I could pretty much just put my stuff in the mailbox and not have to worry about it I don't have to run up to the post office all the time um, which is nice, you know, I don't have that inconvenience, but if I have too much stuff, then I'll usually run it up there. But since I'm leaving early in the morning, my husband will do that for me. So that one's done. All right. The next thing we're going to work on is the games. Now the games I do different each time. Sometimes I will wrap them in bubble wrap and then I put cardboard on them just to double, you know, make sure that they're safe. But this time I think they're going to be just fine. And I'm, I'm just going to use the bubble wrap. They should be fine. And I just wrap them in the bubble wrap like this. Put a thank you sticker. Everybody gets a thank you sticker and a packing slip, which is not necessary. If you guys want to save paper and stuff, you know, you know, I have to do the packing slip thing, but to me, I just, I like to do it it's just because I like to let them know if they have any issues to contact me first. Even though it says it in a lot of my listings, I still like to reassure that part. And it's just personal, you know, personal preference. It's whatever you want to do. But that's how I do that. And then I will stick it in a bubble mailer. Like so. And 
and then we will weigh it, of course. So this is going to be 11 ounces. So we'll change that to 11 ounces and it's going to cost $4.83 going first class. We'll get that. That should be nice and protected with the bubble wrap plus the bubble bubbles on the mailer as well. I just like to make sure that stuff like that is definitely safe. All right, and this is going to Washington. All right, so the next thing I, or the last thing that I have for you guys is the Wii Fit board. Now I went back and forth on how to get this uh, packaged because this thing weighs 11 pounds. So considering it's new sealed in a box, it's not going to break. I think what I'm going to do is just put it in a poly mailer because, because it's going ground anyway. So it should be uh, pretty safe that way. Um, I don't think I need to do anything else with that. It should be just fine considering it is in its own box. And I've seen way worse packaging. I've received way worse packaging from Amazon. So, and returns. I had a girl return something one day and she didn't even put it in anything. She just stuck the label on it and mailed it that way. I'm surprised it even got to me in one piece, but it did. So, that's what we're going to do with this, is just put in a poly mailer so it's protected from the elements. And I have these big, huge poly mailers. And I have, I grabbed two of them just in case I need them both. I don't know. This thing is heavy. I am weak. And this sold for $43.95. And it actually sold, I don't know, did I list it too low? Because this thing sold within an hour. Unless they're just that popular. Okay, I only need one poly mailer. So it fits perfectly in there. So you guys can see. Look at that. Made for it. But I'm happy with the $43.95. I'll take it. And just stick the poly mailer. And just so it's cleaner looking, I always go the extra mile in packaging. I will pull it, push it all the way to the side so it's flush. And then I'll bring the sides up. This makes it look nicer. You know what I mean? People say, oh, you don't need to go through all that. No, I don't, but I do, so it's okay. You know, that's the way I run my business. So, all right, let's double check this and make sure that the weight is right. All right, yep, it's 10 pounds, 7.2 ounces, so it's 11 pounds for this. Put everything back so stay organized and let's double check some measurements on this which I didn't measure it before I listed it it's got 21 it says 20 and a half so I go to 21 and then that's 13 and 3 so the measurements are correct on this. 
That's important in case they need to return it. But I don't think they will. So USPS Partial Select, which is ground. For me, from I have noticed from where I live, that it seems to be the cheapest for people. Um, I will put uh, two options in there. Um, I think I put USPS Partial Select and UPS and they choose whichever one they want or sometimes especially if it's heavy or if sometimes um, I'll do USPS partial select or just USPS priority then they can choose how fast they want it but usually partial select is cheapest this is going to Kansas and it costs them $12.97 for the shipping I try to pick as cheap a shipping as possible. I even went on to um, actually, I'll show you guys. Let's do this. Pirate ship. Sometimes pirate ship is cheaper. Well, let's see. Let's check it. I checked it before. Um, I listed it with pirate ship and it didn't seem like it was any cheaper but let's try it and see so if you guys aren't familiar with pirate ship that is another shipping company on um, the internet let me see if I can move you up here and I don't want to show any personal information So I will try to, well, let's just get rates. Let's go with rates and we'll do it this way. So the zip code is, oops, no. the zip code is 66205, 66205, 66205, and say we want to box in a bag, because that's pretty much what it is, and it was, no, I don't remember how much it was, so, was the dimensions. Let me look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. So, 21 by 13. Oh, and 11 pounds. 21 by 13 and 11 pounds. So, we're going to get a rake quote. Okay, UPS ground is $13 and one penny. Whereas they're charging USPS select is $12.97. So most of the time I will go with eBay label because it's cheaper for me in my area. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I have for you today. Let me straighten you up. I hope you all had a great weekend and made a lot of sales. This is all I made, but I'm always thankful for what I get. So, all right, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.